Okay, so for this last video for our first week with SAS Studio, we're going to make a few uh, graphs, or at least make one here. So I've clicked on task, and I've got a variety of options here, and there's an option here for graph. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick on it, and when I click on graph, I can choose from a variety of them. Now, in order for us to do something like a box plot, we would need some sort of categorical variable to be able to, um, you know, or a class variable so that we could have, you know, different boxes. Um, this data set right now is just full of continuous data or at least um, limited data, you know, between zero and 100%. So um, we'll use a scatter plot just for now. And we've got different options here. I can use the original data set or I can use this new one that we created. When we ran that program, we added these variables. So we've got the you know, work.import3 data set, including this uh, household income natural log variable, this log 10 household income variable. And we also have the change in life expectancy data all included in there so um, so I'm gonna click back on the scatter plot so we're gonna use that new variable we created or at least that new data set um, I'll let you guys use a new variable like maybe the one that we created and for the x-axis just for an example you know maybe I'll just pick on the log 10 household income as the x-axis and for the y-axis variable I don't know we got percent smoking in here somewhere um, so I'll just click on the, the smokers and when I did that, it started populating this um, kind of this command down here in our code, right? Uh, but there are maybe other things that we want to have on the graph. So I can adjust the appearance. I can have a linear regression line. I can have a quadratic regression line or a cubic regression line or some other more advanced polynomial. But I'm going to leave it at one, which is a linear reg regression, you know, y equals mx plus b, whereas this is like y equals, you know, like mx plus mx squared, uh, and this is like mx plus mx2 squared plus mx3 squared, or cu cubed. So we, we're just gonna do linear regression. And then we can add a title or a footnote, we can change the color we can have a line of best fit that does a spline. We can have a low S smoother line. Um, X axis, we can change the axis. The markers, we can change the color instead of it being the, the default blue that comes with SAS, we can change it to something else. Um, but we're gonna do title and footnote. I'm just gonna put, uh, you know, just something generic here. The data were income versus smokers. So the log 10 income versus you know, percent smoking by county, something like that. Footnote, I'm gonna put my initials and graph size, if you need it to be huge, you could make it like crazy big. Um, it makes this so that you could use this in a variety of formats. So we've got all that information. It's just giving a little bit of background there, but uh, all the appearance stuff's there, the data's there. It's updated all the appearance stuff that I've got. It's put it all on here. It's already done it all for us. So and you've got the run command there. So all I have to do is hit the running man button and here it goes. And it'll come up here and there it is. So you can see that relationship between log 10 income versus percent county smoking. We can even um, add on to this uh, regression here um, I believe there's a way to, yeah, we can put a 95% prediction limit on there and uh, add that to it too. And it went ahead and already updated it on the code. I even have to, I can go back and look. It's created a new code that's got the, uh, the prediction limit built into it somewhere. There we go. So I'm just going to hit the running man button up there. It's going to run it and we're going to have couple extra lines in there that shows you the 95% prediction interval around the linear regression line and you can see these counties that are outside those lines are outside the 
prediction interval of the actual regression line. Really, really cool, powerful stuff. To try to type that out manually by code would require years of experience, well, not years, but they require a good bit of SAS experience, but SAS Studio makes it super easy. So um, you can see almost everything fits in there. See that nice relationship as income goes up, the smoking rates go down. So now if I want to take this particular image, um, how am I going to get it? So I can right click, it's not going to do nothing. Um, I can open it as a PDF file. So I click on that, it's going to save it immediately as a PDF file. So if you've got Adobe, uh, there it is as a PDF, kind of cool. But you may want to just go ahead um, and open it uh, kind of as an image and it brings it up right there as an image. Now I can right click it, save it, I can copy it. If I want to open up Microsoft Word after copying this image file, I can do that. So I can copy, paste. I already had copied it once, so I can paste it in there. Really cool stuff. Like I'm so excited about what SAS Studio is actually going to be able to do for you um, career-wise. I love the fact that it's free uh, for academics. So really cool program to be able to have at your fingertips. It has come a long way. Uh, so SAS was something that's big and scary to a lot of people and they have really made it to where the tools are so much more user friendly. So you can do a lot of other graphs. I'll give you guys some examples for your assignment. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm going to make this first assignment kind of follow these videos pretty clearly and I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you all.